You may or may not know, but I am an artist. I'm a wood burning artist and that's been my main thing for the past few years. I've been able to grow my income from $10 per hour to $10,000 per art piece. And I did all of that with using the law of attraction and I created a sustainable and a very powerful art business that I am super proud of that took me about two years. And I wanted to give you not only my journey and my experience with that and a little bit of my story, but I also wanted to give you the five tools that I used that were the most significant and the most powerful to use the law of attraction to increase my income. So like I said, this video is going to have my story, but it's going to be a lot about these five steps that really empowered my financial journey from going to $10 per hour to $10,000 per art piece all within the span of two years. It's a huge giant leap and I needed and I wanted to tell you all of the tools that I took to get me there so you could use them in your life as well. this journey about two years ago, I was working at a clothing store and I was making $10 per hour. I worked, I don't know, hours, 40, 50, 60 hours a week. And I was coming home with these paychecks every two weeks that were so weak sauce, it was kind of defeating. I remember feeling super aggravated. I remember joking with my friends because we had four days till we got paid and I only had, we each only had like 45 cents in our bank accounts. It was super, super challenging. And when you're in that state, it's hard to, you know, see a light at the end of the tunnel. It's, it's challenging to feel like you could pave your own trail and make a very substantial business. And that's where I was at at the time. But I had to start going through this process that I'm about to share with you to be able to shift out of that experience and make a new experience for my financial journey. One where it took me from $10 per hour to $10,000 per art piece. My number one step in doing that was making the decision. When I first started doing my art, I made about two pieces. They took me so long because they were my first pieces and I remember thinking oh wow like I sold my first two pieces this is so cool I could do this like maybe I could do this eh. and then I this huge fear this huge terror barrier came up right whenever we're entering into a new out of our comfort zone new experience we're starting to amplify our vibration and step into the unknown these terror barriers will come up you know, maybe you're looking to increase your income or make your passion project your full-time job. When you commit to doing that, these terror walls are going to come up, but you need to make the decision that this is what you're going to do. That's what's going to sustain you throughout the span of your journey and your progress on your financial goals. So making that decision for me was making that no alternative. I am making a decision right now to become an artist to make a business out of being an artist and doing what I love. There is no other option for me, that is what I'm doing. And that's the choice I'm talking about making. What is it in your life right now that you're relating to this video? What is it that you want to create to be a huge stream of income in your life? What's your passion that you want to turn into your purpose and, and you know be able to make an income off of? Make the decision, number one, really, really make that decision that there is no other option but to make that happen. I remember crying, Jake's told it in multiple of his videos, I was literally crying on the couch because I was so afraid to make that decision, to give myself no other alternatives, to fully commit to doing it. Because then what if I failed? What if no one bought my pieces, right? All of these different things come up and you may be experiencing that as well. That's totally normal, but if you want to transition and shift into your financial abundance and into making this your full time and creating amazing financial prosperity through this, you have to make the decision that you're going to do it no matter how hard it gets because it's going to be challenging. There's going to be speed bumps in the road and unless you've made that decision prior and fully like deeply rooted within your being making that decision, you know, you don't have that oomph, you don't have that extra power when times get rough. So number one, first and probably the most important is just committing yourself on a spiritual, mental, emotional level to making this dream your reality no matter what. 
And when we can shift our perspective to that type of place, the energy will pour towards us. We may have a few initial hiccups because the universe is testing us and saying, hey, how committed are you? But once your commitment is proved, the amount of energy that's gonna flow towards what it is you're creating is amazing. It's absolutely abundant. You just need to push through that wall. You need to push through that barrier. For me, I had to make that commitment and say, there is no other out. I'm burning all the sailboats. I'm burning them all. I'm staying here. I'm staying put and I'm making this happen. Shift your energy from maybe it'll happen and maybe to this is happening. I'm doing it. I'm committing fully and I'm so so there with all of the good times and all of the bad times that are about to come my way. Number two, as I was entering into this, you know, $10 per hour to $10,000 in art piece within the span of two years, I made a commitment initially. When we have that commitment and we're like, okay, I've made this decision. I'm going to make this dream my reality. Whatever dream you're thinking of, bring that to your mind. And I'm going to make that dream happen. I'm working on it now, I'm, I'm working towards it immediately. You wanna set up something that you need to show up to. Whether it's an event you have to show up to, uh, whether it's making business cards and going and passing them out to people, you need to make a deadline and you need to make something that you need to show up to that's making progress towards whatever this goal is in your life. Um, oftentimes, a lot of people lose and miss out on a lot of their dreams because they don't take immediate action. Once you've made the decision to become wealthy with what it is you're doing, to create for me, to create a sustainable and really big shift in an art business that was profitable. You have to set up immediate action, whether it's signing up your work or showing your work on an online website, whether it's setting up a website, making a initial way of that you're putting your energy towards it without just like sitting on it and not doing anything about it because that's when you lose momentum. Everything when you're starting to make financial progress in your life is about energy momentum. You want to keep that momentum in this spiral. You don't want to slow it down to where it like stops because then you have to start it over again and honestly right the first thing that we do in a journey the first step is always the hardest if you're having to repeat that first step over and over and over again because you're not making actionable steps after the fact of making the decision it's going to be a lot more challenging and honestly you're probably not even going to accomplish what it is you're looking to do so right after I made the decision to be an artist, I set up a event that I had to be at to sell my work. I had to have, you know, 20 pieces put together in the span of two months. I had to do a lot of drawings. I had to buy a tent. I had to set it all up. I had to make it look cute. I created a deadline for me to have to show up to this dream that I had in my life. So what is a deadline you can make right now after you've made this decision to make it happen? What deadline are you going to set to make that action happen immediately? Make it so you're working on something so you could show it. Maybe you're whatever, I don't know what your dream is, maybe you're a photographer, put your photos on a website to sell, you know, create business cards, go and do, for me it was an event, go sign up for an event, show your work, you know, put your music online, make a deadline that you have to hit and you have to meet. That's going to start building that momentum to even a more powerful level. And it's also showing the universe that you're committed, that you're not just committed with the idea, but you're committed to taking action on the idea. And when you can shift to that type of energy in your life, you're going to start attracting that financial abundance in your experience because you're putting yourself in its way. You're putting yourself in its presence and you're starting to align your energy with that type of vibration. So at my first event, I only sold one piece for $20, but that's not what it was about. It was about building the momentum. It doesn't matter how much money you make at that first event or whatever it is your deadline is. What matters is you're showing up to it and you're making it happen. For me, it allowed me to build my momentum to get a collection of work together so I could continue doing events and continuing creating more energy around what it is my purpose was. So create more energy around what your purpose is. How can you do that? What can you commit to? What can you sign up for that you have to show up to and start Start building that momentum around what it is you're doing. Three is a lifesaver and it's life-changing. It was probably my number one way of being able to make as much progress 
through the two years from going from $10 per hour to selling $10,000 pieces, being able to sell collections of my work from selling pieces for $4,500 to $7,500 to $10,000. You know, I started at $250. To be able to make that progress, my main way of doing it was affirmations and journaling. It was speaking that world, that dream into existence. If you're serious about making this passion or you're making, you're serious about making more financial abundance in your life, start affirming that it's coming towards you. A few of those affirmations I had were, I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through many sources on a continuous basis. I memorized that. I wrote it down. I said it multiple times a day. I gratituded all of my experiences into existence. You know, maybe you're starting a nutrition business. Maybe you're starting some business where, you know, for me, I needed clients, right? We all need clients because that's business. Gratitude and affirm your clients are coming towards you. I can't tell you every single piece of art I sold is because I affirmed their owner coming into my experience and buying my work. They didn't show up, you know, whoa, that happened. Wow, that was weird. I attracted them all towards me. When you're creating a financial progress in your life, you're creating a business from scratch, attracting it into your experience through affirming it, through speaking it into existence is how it's going to show up. It's how you're going to begin attracting it into your experience. So begin affirming through journaling, through speaking into existence, and by I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through many sources on a continuous basis. I'm so happy and grateful now that God is my unlimited supply, that large sums of money come to me easily and quickly under the grace of God for the highest good of all concern. I'm so happy and grateful that money comes towards me in avalanches of abundance. Start making financial affirmations. Start making affirmations that just feel good and promote your health and well being because that's what's going to give you the energy alignment and that's what's going to start attracting it into your experience. These affirmations changed my entire life. I spoke into existence every single client that ever purchased my piece and for how much they purchased it for collections of work I sold, I cannot exemplify or like highlight enough how important number three is. Make sure that you're affirming the existence of this financial prosperity in your life. Make sure you're affirming all of the progress you're making with this business you're creating. This is the highlight most important part of this video. So make sure you are affirming it. Affirm below, I am abundant. I wanna hear, I wanna see that below. I am abundant and say that on repeat. Start just ingraining your subconscious mind with I am abundant. Number four is knowing your worth. As we make um, any type of progress in our life, it's continuously amplifying and conti continuously one-upping and growing our self-worth. If we don't feel worthy of the goal that we've created, that goal is not going to happen. My goal for a long time was to make $10,000 per month. And that goal was not affirmed and did not come into my experience until I felt worthy of having it. Our worthiness affects everything we're attracting into our life. It affects the relationships we have. It affects how much we attract what it is we want. We control a lot of what we're doing in our life, including the progress we're making and the financial success we have in just being able to know that we are worthy of receiving it. I would have stayed at making $10 per hour working at a clothing store, folding hours for 60 hours a week if I wouldn't have affirmed that I was worthy of something more, something greater. And there's nothing wrong with that. I enjoyed that experience, but I wanted more ease. I wanted more alignment with what I loved doing, which was artwork. So what do you love doing? And do you truly ask yourself, do you truly feel worthy of bringing it into your existence, into your experience. If there's any type of no lingering in that mind, start working on that. Start knowing that your worthiness and your value and what you feel like you deserve in the world is going to be a reflection of what it is you receive. If you only feel worthy of making $10 per hour, $12 per hour, you're never going to reach 15, 20, 100, $10,000. You need to 10X what it is you feel like you're worth and you need to believe it on a deep level. Cause when you believe it, that's when you shift and that's when it comes towards you. Number five is being in a state of gratitude. I am a huge gratitude junkie, gratitude 
goes in alignment with affirmations and journaling that I shared with you in number three or number four. Number three, gratitude. I am so grateful the universe is aligning and conspiring for me every single day in every single way. That wherever I am, I am attracting clients, I am attracting financial abundance, and I am attracting more freedom, wealth, and prosperity in my life. It's gratituding for what it is you have now and gratituding for what is on its way. I gratitude every single morning and I have for the past eight years. And when I started on this journey of moving from folding clothes at $10 per hour to moving to $200 an art piece, up to $500 an art piece, up to $800 an art piece, up to $4,500, I gradually made that increase and it was through my ability to gratitude that I was able to sustain the energy I needed to make that increase happen. A lot of the time we flatline in our businesses and they're making no progress and we drop off. We get unenthused, we get unexcited by it and it feels just like heavy and we get super uninspired and we're like, oh, I work so hard and like, it's not happening right now. You can maintain your energy and you can maintain your growth moving upward through gratitude. Be grateful for this experience that's happening in your life. Be grateful for all the progress, all of those jumps into the unknown that you've taken to make your dream happen. You're making progress by simply staying with the desire to make this dream come true in your life. I can't tell you, you know, I had the worst month of my life financially. The month before I had the best month of my life financially. I made a thousand dollars one month and then boom, I, the next month I hit my income goal of $10,000. When we're continuously affirming and gratituding for what it is we have now, we're continuously maintaining what it is we want to create. And if we can stay in alignment and in harmony and in that type of flow all the time with no dips down and up and side and side and bloom and bling and black, then we can create it. When we're not losing hope, we're not losing faith, we're stabilizing, we're growing always. So do that through gratitude. No matter what type of day, what type of financial situation you're in right now, start gratituding what it is you want to come into your existence. Gratitude for what is now and what is to come because it will amplify everything. It made my business go from, like I said, $200 $10 per hour to $10,000 and I could not have done it without gratitude. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a little tidbit of my journey interlaced through my five techniques for creating more financial abundance in your life from going to $10 per hour to $10,000 per art piece. It is possible and if this is something you're interested in hearing more of, if you want to hear a deeper, more insightful, you know, story, my story, my personal story, I would love to share it with you. Just comment below that you'd love to hear my story and I'll be sure to film a video for you but I really hope that these help you know that it is possible and you knowing that it's possible is the only thing standing in between you making it happen and you not following this dream that you have in your mind. I am like you, I'm like anybody else and I made it happen through persistence, through my clarity, through my gratitude, through my desire to make it happen. Anything is possible if you believe in it enough and you practice enough persistence and have enough happiness to just maintain that growth moving forward. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, let me know if you wanna hear more about my financial journey as a you know really broke, you know, whatever, few dollars per hour to be making a really sustainable, happy art business. Uh, I love you so much. Thank you for watching my video and I hope this inspires you to take your purpose and your passion to the next level. Thanks so much for watching my video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, press that bell notification to be notified every single time I post a video. My name is Ashley Ducey with AshleyDucey.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.